More than just a sign of illness, mucus is a critical part of our body's defenses against disease. Every day, our bodies produce more than a liter of the slippery substance, covering a surface area of more than 400 square meters to trap and disarm microbial invaders. Mucus is made from mucins, proteins that are decorated with sugar molecules. Many scientists are trying to create synthetic versions of mucins in hopes of replicating their beneficial traits. In a new study, researchers from MIT have now generated synthetic mucins with a polymer backbone that more accurately mimic the structure and function. The team also showed that these synthetic mucins could effectively neutralize the bacterial toxin that causes cholera. The findings could help give researchers a better idea of which features of mucins contribute to different functions, especially their antimicrobial functions, says Laura Kiesling, the Novartis professor of chemistry at MIT. We would really like to understand what features of mucins are important for their activities, and mimic those features so that you could block virulence pathways in microbes, says Kiesling, who is the senior author of the new study. Inspired by mucus Kiesling and Ribic joined forces to try to create mucus-inspired materials in 2018, with funding from a Professor Amar G. Bose research grant. The primary building blocks of mucus are mucins, long, bottlebrush-like proteins with many sugar molecules called glycans attached. Those features have led many scientists to try to generate artificial versions that could help prevent or treat bacterial infection. However, mucins are so large that it has been difficult to replicate their structure accurately. To try to replicate its structure, they used a reaction called ring-opening metathesis polymerization. During this type of reaction, these molecules can then be joined together to form long polymers. In 2005, Schrock shared the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his work developing catalysts that can drive this type of reaction. Later, he developed a catalyst that could yield specifically the cis configuration of the products. They compared these polymers to those produced by a different, ruthenium-based catalyst, which creates transversions. They found that the cisvert, in contrast, the trans polymers formed globules that clumped together instead of stretching out. Mimicking mucins the researchers then tested the synthetic mucins' ability to mimic the functions of natural mucins. When exposed to the toxin produced by Vibrio cholerae, the elongated cis polymers were much better able to capture the toxin than the trans polymers, the researchers found. In fact, the synthetic cis mucin mimics were even more effective than naturally occurring mucins. The researchers also found that their elongated polymers were much more soluble in water than the trans polymers, which could make them useful for applications such as eye drops or skin moisturizers. By altering the composition of the glycans, they hope to develop synthetic mucins that can dampen virulence pathways of a variety of microbes. In addition to the Bose grant, the research was funded by the National Institute of Biomedical Imaging and Bioengineering, the National Science Foundation, and the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon. We will notify you technological news. Thank you.